The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tajid Nabas, says the number of policemen, which currently stands at about 400,000, is inadequate to provide security to over 200 million Nigerians. Honorable Abbas disclosed this during a courtesy call on him by the Association of Clerks of State Houses of Assembly in Abuja. The Speaker, who was represented by the Deputy Speaker of the House, Honorable Benjamin Okeze Kalu, said it has become necessary to establish state police to further strengthen internal security in the country. He noted that introduction of state police will enable the states to enjoy some constitutional rights under the concurrent list and to address insecurity. Sokoto or Kaduna during his training as a policeman and he's from Sokoto and then when he finished he was sent to Bayesa River Rhine area. where the culture is different, language is different, even the way of movement is different. They don't, they use mainly boats. And this, our brother is, uh, has a phobia for water. How do you expect him to police those people who swim? Um, they are not afraid of water, they live on top of water. How, how do you expect him? The policing would not be thorough. But take a man from that community who knows the in and out of the geography of the area. Train him around that place. Send him to police there. He will agree with me that he will police better. The Deputy Speaker called for collaboration among the federal and the state assemblies with regards to the ongoing constitutional amendments as the synergy will yield a lofty result for the betterment of the country. When it pinches one part of the nation, the pain is felt on the other side because there are Igbos in the Arewa kingdoms and there are Hausa Flames in the Igbo kingdom and in the Yoruba kingdom and in the Efik kingdom. We are one. We should keep seeing ourselves as one. Earlier, the chairman and leader of the delegation, Rukayetu Adamujalu, told the speaker that their mission to the House was to seek collaboration with the House while also appreciating the National Assembly for the passage of the autonomy for state legislature and the judiciary bill into law. She added that the delegation will also like to understudy the national parliament on the implementation of practice and procedures of legislative business. Accounts, especially accounts, now that the financial autonomy is coming on board, uh, some of us are not really used to having a lot of money at the same time. Sometimes we request our finances as at the time we need them. So now that uh, financial autonomy is here, probably we're going to need some training uh, for the accountants and even the account officers, that means the clerks, so that we'll know how to go about doing uh, what is right. The delegation called on the National Assembly leadership to ensure the implementation of the Act which has still not been implemented in many states stating that this can be achieved by interfacing with the Forum of State Speakers to resolve the issue.